Hi guys, so welcome back to join this bag of So for today's video reaction, let's go to one of our favorite country in the world, which is Russia. Pregnant and spicy, but our Russian friends, how are you all guys ever doing? Fantastic and amazing. And I'm so excited with this uh, video because this is so interesting. We will be visiting uh, one of the city in Russia had this uh, lowest uh, temperature or the coldest city in the world has a negative 71 degree Celsius or negative 96 degree Fahrenheit in the city of Yakots or Yakocha. And pretty to the owner also with a video to discover with Sinet. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. And if you're new to my channel, just click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads. And if you have some comments and suggestions related to this video or any Russian videos, artists that you can suggest, drop it in the comment section. I'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video requests. Why I'm so exci excited with this one, guys, because we'll be visiting the coldest uh, city in the world and this is our first time hearing with this one uh might be we will get amazed before we'll be watching with this because i don't want to cut or i don't want you to rush or like we'll be distracted on the video so i will give you some few information with regards to this video according to the owner also with the video he is in the oldest the coldest city on the planet yakuts which in uh, yakucha siberia russia the lowest air temperature over recorded here is 96 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius. Goodness, the information itself is so interesting that you really want to enjoy and watch. And Yakuts city in Russia, this is a port city of the Lena River in East Siberia. It's home to the Mammoth Museum with the millennia old fossils of woolly mammoths. The Melinko per, uh, Permafrost Institute Underground Laboratory has a Tunnel showcasing fossils, including a mammoth cat in below freezing temperature. Yakut State Museum of History and Culture of the Northern People's Houses ice eats fossils, including mammoth and rhinos. Wow, I'm so excited with this one, and I cannot imagine how these people live in this place with such a very cold. And I think, uh, my the, their body used to it and they know they know the uh, the do's and don'ts of course the how to live in that one that's why they just stay there because their body temperature is that used to it and i think to some people will come there they cannot they cannot like handle the coldness of the place and my city will be like migrate to some uh to some city to the nearby city and i hope guys you will enjoy watching with this one i really want to hear also with you at the comment section please turn on the cc down there for russian this subtitles. Enjoy guys. Oh my god. Wow. Thank you so much for this video. So very excited. What is the temperature? It's minus 47 degrees outside. Air temperature in Antarctica is negative 14.8 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius. Here it is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 47 degrees Celsius. Our lungs are not used it, that's why we're coughing. The weather here is very cold and dry. There is a large population living, approximately 300,000 inhabitants. Yakutsk is the capital of Sahar Republic, an autonomous region that is allied with Russia, 280 miles away from the North Pole. Since this place is the most northeastern point of Siberia, it is very much isolated from the rest of the world. Outside temperature is around negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiling water is about 212 degrees Fahrenheit. As you see, it instantly turns into ice crystals. The lowest air temperature ever measured in this region is negative 96.16 degrees Fahrenheit. It is as if it belongs to another planet. A banana left outside can turn into a hammer in minutes. 
people cannot wear metal frame glasses here because the metal could stick to their skin and if they wanted to take off their glasses their flesh might be chewed out this is a piece of meat that looks very much like human flesh let's just put it in contact with metal as you can see these are natural gas pipes and they have to be laid above the ground because the underground is frozen with ice there is actually a 100 foot thick mass of ice under the city look this river is completely frozen during the soviet era people who contradicted stalin's ideas were exiled to Sahar republic region they were politicians businessmen etc as a matter of fact some of these people who live in yakutsk right now are their grandchildren so this place used to be land of exile today there is a city life going on but we could call this life an ice hell it pushes the limits of human nature no matter how much we bundle up nothing is enough to keep our bodies warm if you have a car here you have a big problem winter lasts for six to seven months here and in that time you can never drive your car if you insist on driving it you can never stop your vehicle's engine for example, the car with a running engine you can see here is empty. There is nobody inside. There are hundreds of cars like this. The reason why the engine is running, if it stops, it can be completely covered with ice and the engine oil will freeze. As you can see, the owner of this vehicle must have decided not to run his or her car for a while. Just after 20 minutes of the engine being off, it is common to give up hope. Another frozen car here, waiting to be reused next summer. This car is running, right? Let's see if there is anybody inside. Yeah, nobody. Can you imagine what a huge base of energy this actually is? Fortunately, Russia is a country that is quite rich in oil and natural gas resources. Even the exhaust smoke freezes. That's how cold it is. There are special covers for protection. Sometimes this is not enough too. People who can afford it keep their vehicles in a heated garage. Because these vehicles are constantly running, there is a constant layer of exhaust smoke over the sea. Range of visibility is often below 200 feet due to the smoke. The houses here have completely different architecture. The reason why the buildings are built on pillars is that the ground is covered with ice and there is a possibility of ice shift. Old houses start to lean over after a decade or so because the amount of ice either increases or decreases. It feels like pins and needles. The worst thing that could happen is to get frostbite. Considering a refrigerator yeah. operates at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, a freezer operates at about negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Since the temperature here is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit, everywhere you can see here could function as a very high-tech freezer. That's why some people are able to store their fruits or their meat just by hanging them outside their windows. Can I make a sled out of this? I just took off my gloves for just a minute for filming. Now it hurts terribly. My eyelashes are frozen too. I'm trying to break the ice. Move, move. If you would stay outside for more than 15 minutes, you would experience problems such as skin burns and difficulty in breathing. Chill that starts with a needle prick like pain. Frostbite followed by sensation loss. And then it could result in death. She took off her gloves for just 5 minutes to film me. Her fingertips instantly turned white. Our microphone is giving a red warning. It is not working properly. The camera is also not working as it should. Its cover is frozen. Our phones don't work as well. Her battery was about 10% a couple of minutes ago. And then it suddenly died, whereas it was actually full. What you see behind me is a cemetery. The thickness of the ice under my shoes is about 100 foot. And this ice mass under the city does not melt even in the summer. So, how do people bury the dead? They gather pieces of coal and burn them for 2 to 3 days. Once the coal is burned, the blocks of ice fall and it can be easily removed using shovels. Finally, the area can be excavated to a depth of 6 to 7 feet. 
The body of a person who died 100 or 200 years ago can be found very robust even today. 20% of the world's total diamond reserves are in Yakutsk. In addition to that, there are also all the elements in the periodic table. There are many mammoth and dinosaur fossils under the Yakutia territories. In these areas where mammoths once ruled, their intact corpses still show up as the ice melts today. In this land where people cannot engage in agriculture or farming, people eat fish. One of the most important features of this market is that they display the fish in public stalls rather than in refrigerators. Outside is much colder than any refrigerator. A piece right. of meat left outside won't spoil for months. There are also frozen rabbits here. They are consumed a lot, including with the ducks. Horse meat is also very common. It is about 45 pounds. They take this fish as a whole put it outside and consume it for days. This one is also on sale. It never spoils of course. Its ears are not moving at all. How many hours do you work here for me? Uh, for how long does he do this? Uh, how many layers of clothing are uh, <laughs> they stand on such first, they do not feel the cold coming to their feet. Yakutin, who make up the majority of the population, are Turkic in origin. 38% of the population are Russian in origin. <laughs> okay, my brother. There are only such dogs here. Unfortunately, cats cannot survive. Only mammals with a really thick fur. There are two layers of glass inside the cars. So when the air conditioner warms the interior, it doesn't lose its temperature immediately. The scariest thing about being on the road is that people whose cars break down have a risk of dying if they cannot fix it within 30 minutes. Otherwise, engine oil under the hood freezes in minutes. If people get stranded in these rural areas with no phone signal, they have no choice but to freeze to death within a couple of hours. That's why every driver carries a toolbox in his or her car. Our journey to the village was completed with a dog sled ride. During our time on the dog sled, I nearly lost an ear that was exposed to the wind and the cold. The pain was unbearable. Maria just accepted us to her village house. We're gonna know more about these mysterious Yakut people. Can you see it? As thick as my finger. I cannot feel it. It's quite numb. Look, my other ear is much thinner. Horses here are much shorter than the usual horses. Their bodies are conditioned to be short. That's how they can keep themselves warmer. Less surface area to worry about. They gave us their own clothes. They bundled up. You can tell by looking at the frozen boat that we're walking on a frozen lake. We try to hit it at a 90 degree angle. We just drill a 20 to 25 inch diameter hole. The house will come and meet their water needs. We're constantly removing the ice. How long it takes for this water to again completely cover with ice? In one hour. Cows in this village are always kept in the barns in winter. They don't ever feel cold? They do, of course. That's why they don't spend much time outside. What's exactly? Your ear got first bitten. If like it lasted longer, it will be very dangerous. They will have to cut it, right? If they cannot save it, they can cut it because the, the cells are dead. For your ear, it's a traditional Yakut medicine, fat of uh, bear. Bear? My, yeah, my father took it from hunters. Oh. Yes, this will help for spitting and also if you burn it. If you look at it from behind, you'll see it more clearly. It is seriously swollen and they call it frostbite. 
I would probably have risked my entire ear if I had been in the cold for more than 15 minutes. The nature has no joke here. What is the coldest temperature you have ever witnessed? The coldest temperature is negative 71 Celsius. What is cold for you? If I have good clothes, if I have enough clothes, before negative 40 it's not like real winter temperature for me. Negative 41, negative 48, it's like fine. Below negative 48, it's cold. And below negative 52, it's very cold. And every degree feels... The funny thing is like cold weather feels like fire, like, like burning. Yeah, that's true. But now my ear is yeah. burning. Yeah. I feel it's so hot. Sometimes people drink too much and yeah. they fall asleep somewhere outside. And one night outside, yeah. some people didn't have proper clothes and they went to the woods and their car broke down. They couldn't call someone because no phone service. Yeah, and it ended. What do you think about nature? Whole lifestyle of Yakut people, of Saha people, it's taking care of nature, respecting it. Early childhood, um, me and my family, we used to go to the woods to fish, to hunt. It's just a part of our life. And we always remember that we are not the owners of this land. We are just guests. For example, we always make a ritual. When we go to pick some berries, we always take a little food with us. We leave it on the ground and say, nature, please share with us. Please give us some food. It's for the master of that land, for the spirit. You believe nature has a spirit? Yeah. For example, when we go to the forest, you shouldn't speak loud because you can disturb the spirits. You shouldn't drink there, have fun there, throw the garbage. Don't bother, don't disturb, don't destroy. Yakut religion is not something which is written in a book or there is a church. Like, there is one center of our religion, but it's not something that, like in other religions, that we do every day, we should pray. We, we don't do something like that. But it's in our mind, it's in our lifestyle, it, and it's all um, related to nature. Uh, for what you have, you thank nature yeah. instead of gods. The gods are mm -hmm. nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our gods are like part of the nature. Now I understand. Yeah. Why don't you migrate to south? Why it's warmer? Because living in these temperatures is like torture. <laughs> it's a torture for you. <laughs> but not for us. The first reason is my family. Right? My family is here and for me the best is to be close to my parents, to my brothers. And secondly, I like the nature here. It's very pure. Like the ecology is very pure and it's for me and for my like, future children breathing fresh air. It's yeah, it's very important. Third, because of our culture, I want I want to preserve our language, our traditions and give them to the next generations. Yakutsk has summers as well. In July, the average daily temperature is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to global warming, ice mass of our world is melting and mammoth corpses are coming up. But also, viruses hiding for thousands of years, which modern humans have never met before, can come to light. When Europeans migrated to North America, the flu they took with themselves to the continent killed most of the Native Americans who had been isolated for centuries. The flu didn't kill us because our immune system was strong. Similarly, ancient diseases to which we are not immune can come to light with the melting of the ice in these regions of the world and have devastating consequences. Thank you for watching. This video was the first episode of a travel documentary series called Rediscovery. I go to unique places which are not known to many and make a documentary about them with a comprehensive approach. The next coming video on this channel will be second episode of Rediscovery. I went inside of this huge ice mass and discovered the permafrost. During the whole documentary series, we got to know more about incredible daily life in negative 67 degrees Fahrenheit, these mysterious Yakut people and their surprising culture. If you don't want to miss that video and to watch all of our videos, 
definitely subscribe. I would also like to thank my team for creating this project with me. Goodbye now. Ruhi Sinet was here. Wow. That's truly incredible. Oh my goodness. That was truly an interesting listening to the lady. She stayed there now because she appreciates the nature of this place. And that's so incredible. As what she said that we are not the owners of this planet, but we are guests. And that's so interesting that you really have to love the nature. Whatever what uh, God has given to us, we should love, we should respect on it. And that's truly really interesting. I really enjoyed the whole entire video because whom you believe that there is something in the world like this existing. And people can still live in their lives and they're enjoying the nature, they're enjoying with it. So some people, they will not enjoy like this one because of course, once you go out, like in a few minutes, you will be freezing and you will get died. And this is an incredible video, knowing this information. I so enjoyed and thank you so much also with the owner of the video to discover with Sinet. And that's truly an amazing and like interesting video, learning with this one of how people live, of how the animals like stay on this earth. Everybody on this planet has its purpose why we should live and be these people. Imagine of 300,000 living in that the coldest like place on the planet that is still inhabited with such people and they're enjoying with it because their body used to it. And this is like amazing to know and such a great video knowing with this part of russia yeah wow fantastic might be i might be to some or maybe me i really want to experience such this one also because it's like for me it's uh unique you will be shocked and you entertain and that this city exists of very very cold and this is truly magnificent and i hope guys you enjoyed watching with this one and if you do and if you really want to see the full video and connect with the owner of the video i'll put in the description box below if you like this video guys same as i did just give a massive thumbs up like and share subscribe also with my channel this is junis blagada react thanks to ample to pass it with you can talk about my social media account is in here you can connect my second channel so in the description box below thank you so much for the attention possible to our russian friends have a good day everyone bye bye mabuhay po tayong lahat god bless po and see you in my next video react Oh, 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 oh,